This is chapter 12, part 3. In this part, we are talking about demand curve and marginal revenue curve for the monopolist. Yes, we'll talk about this downward sloping demand curve and marginal revenue curve, just shadowing it just below it, right? Quantity price. This will also apply to monopolistic monopolistically <laughs> competitive firm as well so this part will pertain to both market structures let's get started market demand curve is going to be firms demand curve so i just want to remind you in for instance perfect competition right there are many firms so you have market demand curve market supply curve this is market for let's say apples okay price quantity this price is supply and demand intersecting will determine the equilibrium price or market price and that will be this is a perfectly competitive one firm so this is the sum of uh, the demand and supply for apples in the united states this is just one firm or one farmer his demand looks like this at this price level he or she can sell whatever he wants at pe let's say five dollars per bushel of apples so this is a perfectly competitive company's demand curve which will be equal to marginal revenue average revenue and it's also price okay so this is perfect competition we're not talking about perfect competition we're talking about monopolist monopolist doesn't share the market with others monopolist will command the market demand curve so this downward sloping demand curve will be his or hers because there is no competitors i take i am the only apple supplier which doesn't happen obviously apples is a perfectly competitive market is on monopolies but something else okay so market demand curve is the firm's demand curve so this is what it will look like so demand for for instance cable services uh, in a small town okay so imagine just one cable company I mentioned this before I lived in Mississippi in the town university town I lived there was only one cable company okay I don't know what this is all right so the market demand curve price per unit subscription quantity right market demand curve will be owned by a monopolist you need marginal revenue marginal revenue is the additional revenue you get by selling one more unit marginal revenue has the half of the slope of the demand curve and it will divide this area in two equal pieces so i'm going to clear everything up so market demand curve is the firm's demand curve monopolist must lower price to sell additional units of output so this is your demand curve right quantity price let's say for these cable services you're charging hundred dollars maybe 20 people will buy these services if you want to sell more reduce it to 50 dollars go hit the demand curve read it off of x-axis now you have 60 customers it could be 60,000 okay so marginal revenue is less than the price for all but the first unit sold so that's why your demand curve will look like this price per unit quantity demand marginal revenue starts at the same point marginal revenue is less than this curve is lower than demand curve for all but the first unit sold exactly at the first unit you are at the same level demand and marginal revenue when marginal revenue is positive demand is elastic when marginal revenue is negative demand is inelastic for linear demand marginal revenue is also linear has the same vertical intercept and is twice as steep okay it looks like this your demand curve marginal revenue curve starts from the same intercept right and it will become negative here for instance okay when demand is going to be inelastic when it's elastic it's going to be positive remember when marginal revenue is positive demand is elastic negative inelastic negative it can take on negative value so some units sold some last units sold can actually make you lose money again what do we have to remember you're going to remember demand curve downward sloping 
price quantity marginal revenue looks like this why do we need marginal revenue because to find the best or optimal or profit maximizing quantity how much should i produce what we will do is marginal revenue equals marginal cost Therefore, we are not building the demand side. We already built the cost side. We are going to put everything together. And I'll see you in the next part where we'll talk about short-term profit maximization for a monopolist.